Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I know it's been a really, really long time uh, that I've done an energy forecast and I've just had a schedule that's been all over the place. I've been really, really busy uh, since the middle uh, of December last year, well, the beginning of December as well, but it just kind of got out of hand and I wasn't really able to rein things back. Um, I did go on a vacation in between and so that and I was I didn't have a signal always and uh, that was another reason that I haven't uploaded videos it was just also not being able to have the space to be able to do it uh, but today what I want to do is I want to actually do an energy forecast as we have the end of the mercury retrograde at least as well as um, I want to do a um, a weekly oracle card guidance. So I might split these videos, but in the moment I just want to record it like this. And um, yeah, and let's get started. Uh, so basically, um, I don't know how many of you have had the, a kind of turbulent uh, few weeks. Uh, the Mercury retrograde that we've had right now has been rather pervasive and I would say that it's not just that, it's not just the Mercury retrograde, it's also an energy that we are leaving behind, uh, that we are moving into. And in order for that to happen effectively, what we've needed to do was resolve certain things, okay? So certain repairs would have needed to be made. Um, what we're looking at energetically is a time of where we're coming into efficiency. And so this period, these last, I would say it's the, it's the first week of uh, February when I'm, uh, it's the 3rd of February that I'm recording this. And I would say that uh, the, the energy has been here for at least six weeks. It's been about six weeks of let's get things repaired, but or let's get things sorted out or let's make shifts in our lives. And if you've been stuck somewhere and you've not been able to kind of move on from there, then the universe would have made a plan to move you on from there, from whatever space you've been in. I would say that this is also a time where you will come into a lot of opportunity, especially in the next few weeks. You will come into a heck of a lot of opportunity. Now, the reason I didn't record this video before that, the reason I didn't uh, record this video in the midst of all this energy in, in January, aside from the time that I, the fact that I didn't really have the headspace or the time to do it, is because the energy was so turbulent and all I could see ahead of me was more turbulence and I didn't want to record something which, which would alert you to that or say, well, okay, you know, you need to be more concerned, more things are going to break, more things are going to go wrong. Now, personally, I've had, uh, I don't usually suffer the the, um, the tyranny of a Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm born in a Mercury retrograde, maybe that is the reason. And I don't really see it in the light that most healers and astrologers do. I see it as a great time of being able to repair, to revisit, to work on whatever needs to be worked on in order for you to have a more efficient run in the future. And I would, and I treated this Mercury retrograde in the same way. However, this time I was really impacted by it. So I've had to, I've had my flat be flooded. I've had um, to do repairs on my car, which is still being repaired. I've had to repair two of my mobile phones as well as, um, as well as, um, I repair my computer <laughs> and my glasses were broken and it was just like um, endless stuff that needed to be repaired and needed to be worked on and to be made efficient and so unfortunately I've borne the brunt of uh, borne the brunt born yeah uh, the brunt of, of a lot of this energy quite personally and it has impacted me. However, I want to say that the one thing that's been um, prevalent is a kind of energy that exists which allows you to be lifted up from that reality. So yes, there's all these things going on, but one is able to surf it on an energy of joy. How is that possible? <laughs> it's because we're moving 
um, into various different um, energy dimensions, okay? So I think that whoever has had issues uh, in the recent months, you would have found that it's easier for you to actually uh, be able to manage things, to take things in your stride, to work with things, to have a rational, clear mind as you are working through things and to not feel like it's the end of the world, okay? Now, I think that one of the things that goes a long way in helping that, uh, in helping keep a higher vibration, is being able to um, uh, feel grateful, to feel grateful for all that you have. So along the way, my health has been, well, I've had... Um, poor moments but I've had a lot of good moments and so I've been focusing personally on how good my health has been and being very grateful for that you know being very grateful that I have this uh, recording device right now uh, which I'm able to use to be able to get a message out to you that I'm able to have some peace and quiet here <laughs> so that I can do that and uh, also to be able to um, uh, to to be able to uh, just exist, just to be able to breathe without difficulty, just to be able to see, uh, to have all my fingers and toes in, intact and just to feel grateful for what I have, okay? So it's just, you know, a feeling of gratitude that can underline everything that is going on right now and that's going to help you to get much, much further. I, just I think the other thing uh, that I really want to talk about here is that we are... We are moving in a in a direction that is um, that's not unstoppable. Okay, so we are moving ahead, and nothing is going to come in the way of that. And I think that's been quite evident as well in terms of what's been happening in the future. In in the sorry, in the recent past, um, I want to say that uh, you know one of the things that were supposed to happen with. 2020 or large something that was supposed to happen with 2020 is that we were all supposed to be able to um, become psychic and become healers at this time and that was would be an energy that would actually help everyone be able to see and understand the truth as the truth exists not because one person has their own truth and because they have their own feelings, but simply because there is a reality that is un can't, that can't be changed. And um, this is something that could have come about at the turn at the beginning of 2020. It was something that we'd been working towards, and a lot of people would have found this. Now, certain things were, I would say, created to be able to block that and to be able to um, get in the way of that because some uh, entities and uh, persons have a lot to lose as a result of everyone coming into, um, into a kind of higher vibration. Because if we were to come into a higher vibration, then what we'd find is that... Um, we will understand everything about corporations, about how things are moving along, about how the um, the energy, how we've been used, how people are constantly being used, how there is so much of injustice in this world. You know, if you think about a basic truth um, that there are people starving and dying, but there's money for weapons, and uh, there's always a kind of a move towards war, and you know, war needs to to take place. Uh, that is a push. That comes from various complexes <laughs> that exist in this world and so there is that uh, as well as many many other things all right so if we were to all have downloaded the psychic energy then we would have found that we would know everything and we'd all have healing power and we'd be able to transform uh, ourselves and and others and i think that uh, that has been stopped. Okay, and how has it been stopped? It's been stopped by the sickness that's been delivered to us. And it's also been uh, stopped by the um, what is proposed to be the, um, the solution to the sickness. All right. Now, what I found, like working psychically with uh, people who have this illness, as well as um, 
who have been sick as a result of the solution to this illness is that very people especially with delta there has been this energy download as well okay this kind of godly energy download i think i talked about it in one of my previous videos and so some of those energy downloads have been coming through and some of you will have had it already and some of you might be able to um to tell some of these things and i'm please don't confuse this with um um being you know believing some kind of uh, conspiratorial theory um although there may be some truth in that but that's not what it is it's about being able to just see and when you're able to see um in the way that i am i have the capacity to uh and many other psychic uh psychics and psychic healers then you're able to um, have compassion as well it comes with compassion it comes with love and i think that 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 is something if you have that please write in the comment section and firstly tell me how you've all been i want to know about that but i also want to know like how many of you have come into this kind of download since um the middle of 2019 till about now okay and how many of you feel that you're coming into that how many of you and how many of you have seen it in other people okay so if there have been people in your uh home or your friends who've had this illness and you found that um that, that you could see this in them as well now the illness was created so that you we don't have it but what's happened is that this energy that wants to come into the planet we we are ripe enough to be able to receive it and we are more ready than ever to be able to receive it and so this energy has kind of ridden on the back of the illness okay now i haven't seen it being ridden on the back of the solution to the illness as yet but uh i assume that there are um there are um sort of um how can i say there are there are ways there are ways and means that it's coming through all right i uh, i haven't personally encountered that in any of my clients or in any of the work that i've been doing on that but... now one of the other things i'm just going to talk about more generally here so i was in um i needed at the end of um, last year to take a break i felt like i'd reached a deadlock in terms of healing work uh in terms of being able to to access energy so i could still read i could still do psychic readings but i could feel that the healing work that i was trying to do wasn't as effective as it could have been as it had been in the past and what i found is um so i was in in germany um till about the 26th of november and then i flew to south africa and i was here in south africa from about the 27th of november till about the 24th of december and i would say from about the um beginning of november till about the 24th of december i found that whenever i tried to do healing work for the planet uh which i always i always work on uh not for individuals but for the planet i was um i don't want to say i was attacked but i was threatened okay and i wasn't just threatened i was yeah i was threatened psychically or energetically now that's something that's almost never happened to me and so it's been it was quite an interesting experience i wouldn't say that i was afraid but i was um i was i was deterred from actually working a further and moving along with that and so the way i see it is that there is this kind of level at which human beings are like down here okay human beings and then if you have like religion if you're religious you kind of like you you kind of go on a path which you end up in a cul-de-sac because that's where it ends and then there's this kind of healer level or this energy where people are working with energy they are um manipulating energy so to say for good or for bad and that level is above and then there's this huge space between here and what is similar to the angelic realm uh i can only it's not exactly angelic um but it's something i don't know how to describe it i don't have a word to describe it so there's this huge space okay where we are here down here and there's this huge space here 
which is between us and the divine realm. I call it the divine realm. And then above that is like this God energy or the source energy. Let's put it that way, source energy, because it's a, it's not anything that human beings define as God. It's much more dynamic and much purer than that. It is purity in its essence. And human beings, they have this idea that they have this relationship with God where God is going to grant them favors and God's watching what they do, etc. And that energy at the top there that I'm talking about, it's not like that, okay? But I call it a God energy because for me, it's like this kind of, it's up there. It's the best that you can actually come to, all right? So what I found is that between the space here, okay, here are the human beings and religion and all that, and then between the space and here are the, he are the um, healers trying to do their work, and between here and the divine energy, there's a whole lot of um, energy in between here that has access, okay? So they have access to psychic energy, they have access to healing energy, and they are evil. And that's the easiest way for me to put it. They are not using it for the good of humanity, even though some people might think that they are using it for the good of humanity. And as, But they have access. They have access to everything that the healers have access to. All right? So there is this kind of huge gap. Okay. Now what's going to happen is that this energy is going to kind of flatten. You have the divine here, which is going to reach the humans. Okay, it's going to kind of like, like a page folding and reaching each other. And that other energy is going to be brought out of, um, I wouldn't say the planet, but it's going to be removed, okay, from, it wouldn't have the kind of influence that it has on, on human beings, on society, etc. So there is that space where things will come together. Now, what will happen is that, and when you have that, that is the energy that you will receive that is actually um, going, going to allow you to see, all right? Now, there will be people who will resist that. There will be people who will look at that and, and say it's not true and that it's it uh, will, you know, God and... Um, the church or Allah or the mosque or the teachings at the synagogue or in, in the Hindu temples, etc., that though the Buddhist temples, that that is what God is and that is what knowledge is and that we as humans are not, um, we can't evolve into that. There will be people who will resist it and uh, I don't really know what happens to them. I think that, you know, they will resist it and they will be in this kind of limbo space between their re old reality and the new reality that is. And so that is something that's going to happen anyway. But what I when I try to work with that energy that was in between, which is this evil kind of thing, I found that it was extremely dangerous and it could not just only hurt me, but it would, would hurt people that I was in um, contact with as well. And so I stop doing that. So what I did actually at this time is that I thought I wanted to remove myself from cities to be able to tap into a pristine energy. And I found that. Okay, so I found that in Namibia. I went to Namibia searching for emptiness, searching for desolation, and searching, searching for kind of uh, pure energy, uh, a kind of um, an energy that's not being contaminated, okay? And I found that in certain places. I found it in the Quiver Tree Forest, where I did a healing. And I will kind of link it somewhere here. I found it there. And I found it in the Cessroom Canyon, where I also did a healing. I found it in um, some other places as well. Uh, on the path, on the route, which had a very high energy frequency. And I was able to do some healing work there for my clients as well as for the world. And I was able to tap back into that energy and work with the earth energy again. So I think personally, like I'm sure not everyone has to do that. But um, personally, I felt that I couldn't do that work here in Cape Town or in mines where I usually live. Uh, and I needed to remove myself. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone remove themselves in order to be able to tap into that energy or to be able to work with that but that was personally what I needed at that stage of my life. Now I have been working and doing healing work uh, constantly 
even when I was ill, even when I was in, ho in a hospital, I was doing this kind of healing work for other people as well um, for the last three to four years constantly without taking a break. So I might take a break and have a holiday, but I'm still working. And um, I think I personally just needed a break. I needed uh, to refresh myself and rejuvenate myself. Okay. So, okay. So that is that stuff. So I was there and I felt um, amazing. And during this time, a lot of stuff happened in my homes and in my car, etc. But that's all fine. I'm not at all worried about that. It's part of life. It's part of um, existence. Okay. And, uh, and then I came back and I was extremely busy. I got back around the 9th of January and I had uh, a, a lot of healing work to do as well as I had my mom visiting which was wonderful and I um, I was just very busy trying to repair many things that had broken in the last week of December and the first week of January and it's been a very busy month so between doing healings a few readings only and um, just trying to take care of everything it's just been extremely busy so now we've had this new moon which is extremely powerful and uh, I think it's just helped to bring up a lot it's helped to bring up a lot now I want to say that if you are feeling a little bit out of balance because of what's happened and because of all the energy that's going on that's what's going on right now just give it another week and you will find that you will feel a lot better if you feel that you can't take it then I would suggest that you go and see um uh, maybe a kinesiologist or a craniosacral therapist or do some restorative yin yoga because that is probably what's going to assist of course meditation healing and your own world is also going to assist quite a lot so go ahead and do that if you need to otherwise just give it another week and give it 10 days and you're going to find that a lot's shifted a lot of this energy is shifting out okay not just because of the retrogrades but also because there's, there's this need for things to move along and for things to shift, you see? Because this planet has been in fear and gripped in fear. And um, yeah, it's like a, a baby that doesn't want to change its nappy, you know? It's like made a mess in its nappy and doesn't want to change its nappy. And so this planet has been sitting in its pool for a, a while and it's time to kind of change the nappy. And what's going to happen is that you're going to have the baby screaming and crying a lot and there's going to be a lot of commotion but it, you, what needs to happen is that that nappy needs to be changed and um, as that nappy is changed you're going to find that relief comes and there's going to be a, a different kind of reality now I'm not saying that this will happen immediately um, but it has the potential to happen immediately so when I read into this and I look into it last year it was saying to me that it would be around 2030 or 2035 but this year, it tells me that it could be as soon as 2022 and 2023. So I think that this is something that we can shift. You know, we human beings have so much of power and we can do so much to shift all the energy here. If we will just detract from the fear that we expose ourselves to on a regular basis and we could just harness the healing energy and the power. Okay, because we remain in a state of disempowerment, we are unable to really move ahead and move forth and create for ourselves a better reality. Instead, what we do is we entertain hardship, suffering, um, hunger, war. We entertain that in our consciousness and in our reality. But if we were to wipe that out of our reality and just entertain goodness, joy, bliss, then we will be fine. But what we do have as human beings is some kind of fascination with suffering. And I would um, say that this is something that is not human. This is something that is um, that has been brought to humankind, but is not human. It's almost like, I don't want to... Uh, it's almost like it's alien, but it's not really alien either. You know, it's something that is... Um, um, that doesn't belong to humankind, but has been brought to us. And it's a consciousness that we need to evaporate and obliterate because this is something that we don't need. We don't need uh, a culture of rape 
or pain or masochism or misogyny or hatred or racism or um, violence in any way or form. We don't need that and we don't have to exist we don't have to coexist with that. It's something that we all choose to coexist with. And this is why we exist in that way. But if we had to uh, stop this fascination with war and violence and stop reporting that, then we would find that it will slowly fade away from, from society. Okay? Anyhow, so that is um, with the regard to an energy forecast, what can I leave you with? I can say that things can have the, have the momentum right now and they have the possibility to be able to move ahead in an extraordinary manner that can change humankind and human existence forever. And whether we are able to jump on that bandwagon and make it happen is really up to every one single one of us. And um, yeah, it's up to us to do that. Now, there's one other thing. I did say I was going to uh, go on Rumble or local Locals. I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to do that as yet. In fact, this is the first time I've had a chance to sit down and talk to you. I, I just haven't had any time for anything. It's been absolutely mad and crazy. And so um, as I find time, I will follow up on the promises I've made, all of them. And I really am sorry, I just can't do it right now. I will um, try to do it. I am making progress. I am getting to that point. But um, yes, it's really difficult for me at the moment in terms of time. And I will... Um, I will let you know as soon as I've set it up and as soon as I start that. What I was thinking of doing there is some live streams because it would be nice to have some discussions um, and just to share some of these ideas, all right? Anyhow, I hope this video doesn't get taken down for the stuff that I've spoken about, but I would like to do then just move on to the weekly Oracle card guidance. And so this week, I want to use the um, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins uh, deck. Before I even walk to the shelf where I have all the Oracle card guidance um, cards, uh, I was told that this is the one I need to use. So there it is. So please go ahead and choose between option one, two, and three. And I'm just going to do it like this. And um, yes, I'm not going to use the usual format for today. All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, all right, I have the card, you have, you're being helped. You're being helped, yeah. And it says, heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet. All right, so I think that basically talks very much about everything that I've said until now um, in the energy forecast. So it's been very much about things are moving along, heaven is helping, um, however you define heaven. <laughs> it is helping and it is going to be, there is going to be some things that are shifting, some things that are moving along. You don't need to feel like you're abandoned. You don't need to feel like you're alone and that it's something that you are, you can't um, let go of or you can't grasp. If you've been having feelings of, uh, if you've been gasping or if you've been having shortness of breath or some kind of difficulty, if you've been waking up in the middle of the night and, and having difficulty breathing and um, here, here's the card that says, well, listen, just calm down. You are being helped. You're not alone. You've not been forsaken. You are going to be okay. We, are, You are going to get out of the situation. Whatever situation you find yourself in, if you find yourself in the deep end, you are going to find a way out of it. And it's going to be to your benefit, ultimately. And it's going to be fair. All right. So I think that is one of the meanings of this card. I just need to look at it again. Yes, I think, you know, yes, you might not see the results. You might not see and understand how it's helping you 
or how it is that you are moving ahead but certainly you are I think also you might feel like you are a bit uh, lost you are, you don't perhaps have the faculty to be able to manage and take care of what it is that you need to you might feel like a toddler in um, in respect to what you're doing and not feel that you have the control that you need or the the knowledge that you need but I think that ultimately you will be fine you will be kept afloat and things are going to be okay and if you could just take a minute and look around your space and look at all that you have that is still positive that is still um, working in your favor and just give thanks for that that's going to be um, helping uh, a long way as well I think, you know, if you are able to connect with nature here, definitely do that, especially with water, with water energy. It can be very healing at the moment. It can wash away a lot and it can be also quite uh, rough and um, um, just quite aggressive. But it's, you know, don't put yourself in any danger, of course. But if you expose yourself to it, perhaps by watching it or by dipping your feet, perhaps, you're going to feel some of that um, very robust energy that's going to help you to, um, to, to heal and to work with whatever it is that you're working with. I think if you live very far away from the sea or a river or anything like that and you, you, don't, uh, you don't have any wish to go to the local um, uh, water supply, um, what I would say to you is just use some water at home you know, just put some salt in some water and soak your feet in it or soak your hands in it and sprinkle it on you as well and see if you can feel some of that difference. Such this That might not apply to every one of you, especially with the salt. Um, but um, even if you just like use a stone like a rose quartz or a clear quartz and you place it in the water and you use that energy and just sprinkle it on you one of the things that I used to do many years ago is that I'd always uh, fill a pot of water under the full moon and then I use that water through the month to actually um, work and heal people and it really was amazing it was very effective I stopped doing that uh, but uh, it's something that try it out and see whether it works for you all right just let the moon charge your um, preferably the full moon let, let, while or while it's waxing not waning uh, to charge your, your water for you and work with that and see whether it makes a difference. All right, I'm going to leave you there. I hope that helps you. And uh, moving along to the next option. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, Oh, it feels like this one. <laughs> it's interesting. The cards come up again. You're being helped. So I just spoke about this in the first option. And you can go ahead and listen to that again. I'm just going to see if there's anything else in here. Okay, the one thing I want to add to you, please go back and listen to the first option. But the one thing I want to add here for you is that there is light, there is wisdom, there is knowledge that you will find in places that you would not exist or you would not expect to find or would not normally exist and I think that um, that is something to look forward to and to to enjoy as you go along and as you are exposed to that okay there is a little boy here that um, there that's watching this girl. I think that uh, I think that perhaps you would find that people will be inspired by you being able to immerse yourself um, in tranquility and serenity uh, in times where 
it's not clear that that is the case. I think also that you know being able to bond with nature and and come in to, with one in one with nature is actually going to be quite um, helpful for every single one of us right now. I'm going to go ahead and choose another card for option number two and see what comes out. And it gives me soulmate relationship. This is the card that sprung out. Soulmate relationship. Okay. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. All right. So there you are. That's pretty self-explanatory. I think that if I had to read into it, I think that what you'll find more and more right now is that you there are more than one soulmate in your life. You'll find that you're able to connect with people who have similar ideas, similar feelings, similar uh, viewpoints as you. And it almost feels like when you meet these people that you've met one of your kin, one of your soul tribe, and one that belongs to you. And I want to say that this is not necessarily going to mean that you're going to meet somebody who is your life partner. Not to, It's not going to mean that for every single one of you. But I think that here... Um, it could be the case for some of you. Please let me know if you do meet your soulmate or you come into a soulmate relationship after you've watched this reading. And um, yeah, do let me know if that's the case. I'm going to just look at the card and see what else comes up here. I think it's this card for me, it speaks a lot more much more than for a relationship it speaks of us moving in sync with each other if everyone is moving in sync with everyone at one moment if we're marching to the same tune if we believe and understand something the same thing and if we um, are vibrating at the same frequency as each other then we are each other's soulmates we are each other's mates and, and in our souls you know we are our souls are speaking to each other and that's what the state that we need to be in and unfortunately the world that we live in right now doesn't allow that you know it divorces us from our souls it makes us uh, just our bodies and it puts us to use in our bodies and our minds and divorces us from our souls and I think the moment that you are welcoming your soul and welcoming what your soul wisdom is in into your life, then you're going to find that you are vibrating at the same level as many others are vibrating at. And you're going to find that you have more than one soulmate and more than one um, kind of home in the world. You have more than one feeling of where you belong and how you belong in this world. I think that this kind of uh, feeling, if you are having it and if you have met somebody, I think this kind of feeling can be quite encompassing and um, it can take up quite a lot of your life, quite a lot of your feelings. And it might be that you, everything else becomes um, unimportant to you at this moment. And this is the only thing that you are uh, focusing on. Okay, so... If you are going to meet somebody, if you have met somebody, expect to be uh, swept off your feet and to have yourself focused and interested in only one thing <laughs> for a while because everything else fades in comparison. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that that has been a helpful message. And I'm going to move on to the option number um, three. Just once again, go ahead and listen to the first option because that card came out for you as well. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, for those of you who have chosen option number three, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? Time to move on. Wow. Now, this is a card that I think, a card that had a similar meaning, came out in one of the previous uh, week, 
weekly oracle card guidances and it says it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in oh my goodness isn't it all about that right now this energy is so pervasive in that manner and the new moon that we had on the 1st of February is very much about that it's very much about making space for new something new to come into your life so if you've been hanging on to all things because of the memories because you're afraid that when you release those things or you get rid of those things that you will lose that aspect of your life or your memory don't be afraid just let go of things get rid of things clear things out move along and clear things away because what you're going to find is that you're going to be able to find something much more wonderful much more vibrant much more suited to who you are if you are able to clear out some of that energy i'm talking about uh, decluttering I'm talking about not just decluttering things but decluttering energy from your life if you're still thinking about your exes if you're still thinking about some hurt that your parents caused you when you were a kid that is cluttering up your life and you are not leaving space or having space for some a new experience to be brought into your life what you're simply doing is living from your traumas and allowing your traumas to dictate the rest of your life now i've been finding that a lot with clients recently and um and personally it's one of the reasons that i've i'm trying to veer away from working and doing psychic readings but rather just uh working with healing which i find far more fulfilling and satisfying pardon the noise um because i found that people are committed to living from their traumas so if something happened to them you know when they were born or when they were a child they're going to constantly live with that and in their radar you know that is something that it's their reference point and as a result that is something that that continues to define their reality as they go ahead and this is something that i think this card is talking about it's talking about leave all of that behind leave behind the hurt the trauma the pain also the good memories of the past because that's where they belong in the past live in the moment and invite and create new opportunity for yourself in this moment because that's all you have you only have this moment here okay that you are in as this moment passes this it's gone it's gone forever you can't get it back you can try to relive it you can try to um, continue to access it but that's just an illusion and it's not really helping you to really move on it's not really helping you to um, to live the best life that you can be or to be able to allow goodness or blessings to come into your life all right let me see what else it says here I just feel that if you were to um, just clear things up and leave an empty slate whether it's emotionally mentally spiritually physically materially then what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you are able to uh, vibrate at your essence you're able to work from a space which is you that is um, in sync with the universe and with yourself it's going to be something far more powerful and if every one of us as human beings were to be in sync with ourselves and we're to be doing something that's actually um, making our soul sing this world would be devoid of suffering this world would be devoid of any need because we will be completely fulfilled and I think that that is a, a space that we this card is talking to you about moving towards it's time to move on it's time to be able to create that space so that new opportunities can enter your life and just go ahead and make it happen for yourself all right so i'm going to leave it there um i know that today's oracle card guidance is a little bit shorter it's largely because of the format in which i'm doing it but i want to do it like this because that way it just saves me lots and lots of time and also because um i couldn't quite get the right the lighting right and the other room where I usually shoot my readings and so I just thought I would sit here the lighting is not optimal but it's better than what I had and I hope that you have enjoyed the reading and that you were able to get something out of these messages I wish you amazing beautiful blessings as you go along and may you stay healthy and well and abundant and may all the blessings of the world come your way all right 
Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.